Okay, so the first instruction in the proportions of the face, symmetry and math assignment, is it says you are going to start by drawing an oval below. Have it come together slightly like a chin would. Step two says you're going to make your eyes. So in order to do so, you are going to draw a light, horizontal, slightly curved line halfway between the top of the oval and the bottom of the oval. Okay, so all I'm doing is putting my line halfway between the top of the head and what will be the bottom of the head. It says then you are going to draw five of the same size, same shape eyes that span all the way across on, top, on this line that go uh, touch at the corners and go from the left hand side of the face to the right hand side of the face. Okay, I'm just going to use general almond shaped eyes. They're all going to be generally the same size and same shape, okay? If yours don't span from the left-hand side to the right-hand side, you're going to need to erase and try this process over again until it looks the same exact way that it looks on my paper, okay? Since we don't have five eyes on our face, we are going to erase one with the first eye, the third eye, and the fifth eye, okay? What we are left with was, is the size and placement of what our eyes will be and where they will be when we um, are finished with our face, okay? We are not adding details to these just yet. Um, those will come a little bit later. All right, step number three says, you are going to draw a light horizontal line halfway between the eyes and the bottom of the face, and a light line vertically halfway between the right and left hand side. So here's my line. It's gonna break this area up halfway, and I'm also gonna do a vertical line that's gonna cut my face in half vertically. Okay, on the intersection, I am going to do a medium sized line and on either side of those. I'm gonna put two smaller size lines, smaller size circles that sit slightly above the medium one. Okay, your circles <clears throat> should end or be in line with the corners of your eyes. Okay, those are just guidelines, so we can erase those. And all you're gonna do to make your general nose shape is we're gonna trace the bottoms of our circles, and then erase the circles inside. Okay, leaves us with the general shape of a nose. Step four says you are going to draw a light line halfway between the nose and the chin. This is the line that's going to go in between the lips. I'm going to draw it there. And also, we're going to pretend like we have eyeballs in here with pupils in the center. We're going to draw a line that spans down from where the pupils will be. Okay, your, your mouth never goes past where your pupils are. So we're going to get the shape of our top lip in there and the shape of our bottom lip. Okay, again, these are just general lips. We will add details to these later and you can work on erasing your guidelines. Okay, the next step is we're going to get the ears in and ears always go in between eyes and nose. They start at the eyes, they end at the nose. So we already have our guidelines up there. We're just going to put in a couple of general shapes of ears. Okay, this will set you up for the, um, the how-to video on how to add details to the eyes first, then have the how-to video on how to add shading on the nose, and finally on the lips. 